We are back at K-Mine Stadium on the campus of Lafayette as we wrap up game number three in this three-game weekend set. And those are the victors out in right field. Holy Cross comes back to win this one, three to one. They trailed most of the afternoon, but put up some late runs to take game number three after splitting on Saturday. They win on Sunday. And Holy Cross will head back to Worcester with the season or weekend win. We start things off as we look back at this game in the second inning. And things were looking good early on. Carter Jerigia's first career home run as a college player. And this one well over the wall and left gave Lafayette a one to nothing lead. In the third inning, that's number 35, Dylan Mangini with a single, but he was eventually stranded at third in this inning. And mainly because of some really nice defensive plays. That was not one of them, but there was only the one error in the afternoon, and you're looking right at it. It did not hurt Holy Cross in that third. You move to the fourth now, and we're going the other way. And that's Vanderberg with a single that turned into a double on a hustle play and not the strongest throw from left field. So some hustle play from Lafayette, but stranded again. In the fifth inning, trying to run. And safe at second base. Play another runner scoring position for the Leopards, but a lot changed as we got into the later innings. We moved to the seventh. And number two, Connor Peak gets on. And then this bunt was to sacrifice, but some miscommunication put runners at first and second. Eventually they were at second and third, and this was the single that gave Holy Cross its first lead of the afternoon. That's Connor Peak with one to right center field that scored both McElroy and Kirkpatrick. You thought things might be turning on this play as the right fielder McElroy lost sight of it. Greg ends up at second base. That was ruled a double, but stranded again. And then in the ninth, we got a little bit of insurance as this ball gets out in a hurry. That's McElroy. So he scored two runs on the day. Scored one in the seventh and then the home run in the ninth. And that gives the three runs to Holy Cross. And that was plenty this afternoon. Lafayette just one run in game number two yesterday. Just one run here in the third game of this three-game set this afternoon. And your final three to one. Peak one for three. Two RBIs had the game winner. And there's Derigi one for four. A memorable shot to left field, but it comes in a loss. And that was the only run for the Leopards. Neff gets the win. He's 3-1. and one. Moore gets the loss. He is 1-5 and five on the year. Kyle Subers pitched really well. Pitched five innings. Did not give up any runs. But on the other side of the sheet, Alex Bryant and Trevor Neff combined for nine innings. Gave up seven hits between them. Just one earned run. They walked four and struck out nine. Here on Senior Day, you want to tip your caps to the nine players that will be leaving the program. This is their last time here at K-Mine. Ethan O'Connor, Dylan Mangini, Evan Kaya, Frank Kraska, Jake Bloss, Kyle Subers, Zach Savage, Jordan Yoder, and Justin Johnson say goodbye to K-Mine in the 3-1 to loss. That will wrap things up for us here at K-Mine Stadium. We hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Have a great rest of your day and a great week. I'm Matt Fine. We'll see you back here real soon. Take care, everybody.